All right, guys, we are here uh, in Fontana. We are doing some um, bird proofing today. I have my man right here. What is he doing? Check this out. He's getting ready. Man, look at that. Ouch. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with our bird, bird proofing. All right, let's go ahead and handle this. That's there right. we go. All right, birds. Got something for you. And we're going to show you guys how to find out how many solar panels are up on the roof without even getting up on the roof. So we are going to come over here and come to the side of the house where the meter is. And right here is a spot where you have a red tag. And this red tag tells you how many solar panels are on the roof and where they are positioned. We have about 21 solar panels on this side and we have about uh, two, four, six. I know there's more than that up on the roof, but we have another one on this side. This is one array right here. This is two arrays. A group of solar panels is an array and this one right here is one array and two arrays so we know we have two arrays on top of the roof and we're checking the meter making sure the meter is good and the meter looks pretty decent sorry you can't get the the numbers for you guys but we always check that make sure it's working make sure that it's all good and then now um we went ahead and we filled up the tank with the water we did a TDS uh, earlier. Um, this gentleman right here has soft water uh, in there, so it makes things a little easier. And it's coming out right here. So we tested the water as that 174 with our TDS meter, had that checked. That is the line that's basically going out to the hose right here. This hose is basically coming in to our van. And then what it does is, this is your input coming into the van itself with the hose coming in directly to this point right here. We've used 20 gallons so far with this gallon meter, which is in the description. If you guys want to order one of these, this right here counts how many gallons is coming into our tanks. Each tank is around 700 gallons that it will take before it starts to go back so we have 1400 gallons with these two tanks we also have a split right here where we can put a um, water fed pole uh, onto this end and turn that on at the same time and right now we have water that's basically filled up all the way to the top so let's take this around real quick so basically we're coming over here and showing you we have water that fills up all the way to the top and it shuts off right here. We have what well, we have a valve that will shut off the water itself. Once that shuts that off, we don't have to come back out here. All we got to do is start the engine. Once we start that engine, Rick, that's it pretty much, right? Yep. This job is done. We don't have to do anything else other than uh, go out there and um, work on top. So what we did is we ran this line right here. So this line is ran right here, going all the way back up, up on top of to the roof already. That's where we're gonna go next. Go up on top of the roof and uh, pressure wash. So my man, smiling. I wonder what's on the end of that hose, Henny. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a mystery, huh? It's a mystery. That's it. <laughs> all right, guys. Crawls to the top. That's where we're taking you. All right. So he's going to go ahead and fire that bad boy up. Once he fires that up, we can go up to the top. Be ready to roll. Got your knee pads on, buddy? Got the knee pads on. Got my knee pads right here. We're ready to roll. And we're going to go ahead and take that up. Let's go ahead and take this up and get started. All right. So we are going up on top of the roof here. Take you guys up for an adventure and shoot from here. We got a spectator up in the van too, and he's filming us as we're filming them. So, you see him right there? Yeah, he is right there filming us. He thinks he's sly, but he's not sly. 
we know. We know the story. Let's go ahead and head on up. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. So hang tight. All right, so this is a Spanish tile roof. Here, this is the smaller of the tiles. So you gotta be really careful when you walk on these things right here. Got a blanket, gotta have the blanket. Blanket to sit your butt on. Got your knee pads, here we go. Make sure when you guys step on these right here, when you step on these, make sure you do not step right here at the edge. If you step right here at the edge, you are gonna be damaging these tiles they could break they could crack uh and so forth so you don't want to do that step right here right off i take a step right up over the ladder push myself out and here i go all right follow follow the hose so we have about 200 feet of uh bird proofing material right here up on the roof we have all of our stuff here inside the box, ready to go. And then now, uh, yeah, you can't forget the cooler. Can't forget the cooler. Let's check out the cooler. What do we got here? What do we got? Damn, somebody's going to be thirsty. Yep, we're loaded, baby. Loaded, ready to go. Hey, I forgot to tell Rick, we got some sandwiches. Sandwiches, I better go tell him before he comes up. So, let's take a walk. My man, don't forget the sandwiches. Uh-huh, he already knows. That's right. So give me about two minutes and then go ahead and start it up, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, show these guys the panels real quick. All right, guys. So we got the panels up here, up on top, and here is the other set right here. Um, make sure that we are gonna be cleaning on top of here. Make sure you don't step on top of this right here. It will break it will crack very easy when you're on this type of roof you don't want to do that all right so <clears throat> check underneath the panels first when we do our inspection make sure there's no wires exposed or anything else like that so we do a walk around real quick make sure that that's all good and yes we do have a safety harness we're going to be putting on this is a really easy one right here on the roof itself because you can actually get up on the roof without putting a second ladder up so All right, I went, I went ahead and rolled out this hose already. That's all done. Um, right here, we have the big set of panels. Right here, 21, I see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25. 25 panels on this side. Sorry, it wasn't 21, 25. So. We're gonna go and clean all this up, pressure wash all this bird feces off, make sure this roof is not that bad actually. So we'll be able to get that taken care of. Be really careful when we're out here on the side, we're gonna be working on the side right here and in the front. So let's go ahead and show you the front guys. Top of the panels are not too bad. I will take pictures of this, show the customer that how bad the panels are how dirty the panels are and us you know cleaning them afterwards should be nice and clean i'll show you guys pictures of that uh when we are done but yeah look at this big big array and we have all this bird feces up on top we need to get rid of that with the pressure washer we'll clean that Hey, good. And we found some screws here. And these screws right here, we don't know where they came from, but I will take a picture of that and show the customer. Rick just fired up the pressure washer. 
and got that taken care of so here we go let's walk out to the edge of this roof right here do not do this at home people I know what I'm doing I've been doing this a long time I know exactly what to hold on to uh, and stuff without a harness so <laughs> go ahead and take a step this is the side that we have to do all the way we have to put bird proofing material right here at the edge and as you guys can see it's a pretty long fall so you guys definitely don't want to go and do this without a harness safety 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 guys that's what it's about okay you want to go home at the end of the day came up on top. Rick is pretty much handling that. So let's go take a look. 